All right, this is second grade math lesson 6-9 about reasoning. So let's take a look here. Farmer Davis has 52 chickens. He sells 15 chickens at the market. So he's selling, we know we're gonna subtract, we're gonna have less. How many chickens does Farmer Davis have now? Use the bar diagram and equation to help you solve. Be ready to explain how the numbers in the problem are related. So he had a total of 52 chickens and he sells 15 of them at the market. So let's see how many chickens he has left now. So 52 minus 15 is our equation. So 52 minus 15 equals. Two minus five, that won't work, so we have to regroup. That two becomes a 12, that five becomes a four. 12 minus five is seven. Four minus one is three. So there are 37 chickens. And we can tell here 15 plus 37 equals 52. 52 minus 37 equals 15. 52 minus 15 equals 37. So we can see how they all work together in a fat family. All right, let's go ahead and go to our next page here. A lot of this is going to be review. So you can read the comic on your own. And we'll go ahead, we're gonna skip the do you understand, show me. We'll keep that for our class discussion. So let's go through our guided practice. Reason about the numbers in each problem. Complete the bar diagram and write an equation to solve. Show your work. Wendy has 38 cents to spend on a snack. So we know our total is 38. That's the total amount she has to spend. She buys an apple that costs 22 cents. So 22 cents. How many cents does Wendy have left? So that's what we're solving for. 38 minus 22 equals. I'm gonna stack them. 38 minus 22. Eight minus two is six. Three minus two is one. So we have 16 cents left over. All right, Joe has 46 crayons. All right, Joe has 46 crayons. And Tamila has 18 more crayons than Joe. So we're trying to figure out how many Tamila has. So Joe has 46, Tamila has 18 more. So we are gonna need to add this, 46, plus 18 more equals. So 46 plus 18. Six plus eight is 14, regroup. Four plus one is five, plus one more is six. 64 total crayons there. All right, we're gonna go to our independent practice. We only have three questions on this one. So it's not too much. We just have to pay attention to see if we are adding, subtracting, and what the question is asking us to do. All right, so let's look at number three. Andy's class wants to test samples of river water. They want to test 47 samples. So they want a total of 47 samples of water. So far, they've tested 34 samples. So they have 34. How many more samples do they need to test? So we can do it a couple of different ways. I'm gonna do 47 minus 34 equals. So 47 minus 34. Seven minus four is three, four minus three is one. So we know they need to test 13 more samples. Okay, let's look at number four. 90 three dimes are in a box. So we have a total of 93 dimes. Grant uses some, how many? We don't know, to buy a game. Now 66 dimes are in the box. How many dimes did Grant use to buy the game? So we had a total of 93. He used something and we had 66 left over. So we're gonna use that 66. Three minus six won't work, so we have to regroup. That becomes 13, that becomes eight. You guys are experts on this. We've done eight lessons on it, so you know exactly why. 13 minus six is seven. Eight minus six is two. So we have 27 left over. So we know that 93 minus 66 
equals 27. So we had 27 dimes we used to buy the game. All right, our last one is Maria paints 62 squares for a mural. Oscar paints 38 squares. How many more squares does Maria paint than Oscar? So we need to actually subtract these. Okay, we have 62 total squares. Oscar paints 38, and we need to find what that is over there. So we know we're gonna do 62 minus 38 equals. So 62 minus 38. Two minus eight, that's not gonna work. We have to regroup 12 and five. 12 minus eight is four. Five minus three is two. So 24 squares is our difference. All right, let's go into the back side. This is our performance assessment. All right, here we go. Planting trees. The second and third grade students planted these trees in Wing Park. The second grade students planted 26 of the spruce trees. How many spruce trees did the third graders plant? Okay. So what we need to do, what information can you get from the picture? Well, we know about oak trees and spruce trees. We only need to know about spruce trees. We don't need to know about oak. So I'm just gonna cross that out. What information can you get from the pictures? How many spruce trees were planted, okay? Now we need to complete the bar diagram. So we have 44 total spruce trees. We know that the second grade students planted 26 of them. So 44 minus 26 equals what? So let's figure that out. 44 minus 26 equals four minus six doesn't work. We're regrouping 14 and three. 14 minus six is eight. 3 minus 2 is 1, so we know that the third graders planted 18 of those spruce trees. So how many spruce trees did they plant? 18. Explain how you solved the problem. I'm just going to draw a picture here, and that shows exactly how I did it. All right, great job, everybody.